new videos every day. Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm here to rescue you from workout boredom with a dance-inspired workout for your whole body. This is a perfect workout for beginners, for Star Wars lovers, and if you want to advance, I'll take you through some more advanced moves as we go. Let's get up. Let's get moving right now. So bring your feet hip-width apart. Start with just a step tap to the side, reaching your arms up. Big side stretch, lengthening arms up to the ceiling. Tap and tap. Tap and tap. Do you like my Star Wars pants? I'm loving them. They are so much fun. I just had to bring in this Star Wars workout for you today to do some dance moves, to have a little fun, to get off the couch if you're feeling like Job of the Hut. This is your time to move. Keep it going side to side. Big reaches up and up, up and up. You're just here for a few more seconds, getting the body warm, lengthening out your body, getting a big stretch. This is perfect for the morning when you're just getting going. Get your heart rate up a little bit, side to side. All right, we're going to take the arms down now. Bring your heels together, toes apart. Little V between your feet. Lift the heels, press down. Lift the heels and press down. Draw your belly up and in. Take this time to get connected into your core. While you stretch your feet, strengthen your ankles, squeeze your inner thighs together. Try to close all that space between your legs. Ah, oh, this feels so good as I move through my feet here. Get a little stretch. Give my feet some love. Let me know in the comments below if you like Star Wars, if you like these pants, or if you're more of a Star Trek person. For me, I like Leia. I feel like a princess most days. So uh, I'm more of a Star Wars person myself. Good. Straight up and down. We're going to add on in five, four, three, two. Lift the toes, or lift up onto your toes, lift the heels, and then just bend your knees and lift. Little plie. Bend. And lift. Knees track over the second toe. Down and up. Squeeze and wrap your inner thighs. So this is a really basic building block move. You can go one inch down, one inch up. You can deepen this work. Deepening the knee bend. Deepening the squeeze as you wrap your inner thighs together as you come up. Lots of muscles working here. Feet and ankles are connected. Calves are working. Inner thighs are squeezing. Your glutes are squeezing every time you come up. And you want to keep that belly button in and up. Think about putting on one of those tight stormtrooper outfits and pull your uh, belly in. Good. All the way to the spine. Straight down and up. Hands to hips or in prayer position. We go straight down. Straight up. Lift. Squeeze. Down. Up and squeeze. We're going to add our robot arms. Channel your inner C-3PO. Ready? We'll slow down the legs and add the arms. Let's go down for two and up. For two, down, for two, and up, for two. Continue to press those heels, moving those robot arms forward and back. Good. Squeeze and wrap those thighs together. Have fun with this. This is supposed to be fun. It's dancing after all. Let's go down, for two, and up, for two, and down, for two, and up. For two, stay with it. Squeeze those heels. Lift into your bottom. Good. We are going to take this down to the floor. Drop your heels. Separate your feet. We have a push-up series in honor of Darth Vader. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, big fold. Walk yourself out into a push-up position. Hands right under the shoulders. Three little push-ups. One, two, three. Lift your hips. Walk your hands back. Oh, goodness. Use the force. We're going again. Inhale up. Exhale, roll. Walk your hands out. Three little push-ups. You can take your knees down to the floor, or you'll keep your feet lifted. Lift those hips. Walk your hands back. Roll it up. Two more sets. Inhale. Exhale. Walk it out. Little push-ups. Drop those knees and take three. Lift your hips, drop the heels, walk your hands back. Last set, you can do it. Inhale up, exhale, fold, walk it out, find your plank position, three little push-ups. So we're integrating the whole body here. 
Lift the hips, walk hands back. Roll it up and we're back to legs, heels together, toes apart. Lift up to your toes, we go down for two and up for two, down for two and up for two. So we're alternating here between these plies and releves and our push-up series to challenge the body, to challenge our muscles, to make our heart rate elevate and to have some fun as we move down for two and up for two, down for two and up for two. Pump those robot arms, keep them active, keep them working, keep squeezing and wrapping your thighs. We have one more push-up set coming. Get ready, it's almost here. Here's your last one. And we're back into our Darth Vader push-ups. Bring your heels parallel. Inhale up, exhale, we fold. Walk it out to your push-up. Drop your knees or keep them up. Tailbone down, three little push-ups. One, two, three. Lift hips, walk hands back. Roll yourself up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands out. Three little push-ups. One, two, three. Lift your hips, drop your heels. Walk it back, roll yourself up. Two more sets, inhale. Exhale. I can feel my heart rate coming up. Take your knees down as you need to. Three little push-ups. Head and neck long, belly in, then lift those hips. Walk your hands back. You're on to your last set. Use the force, you've got this. Roll it down, walk it out. Last set right here. Three, two, one. Hips up, heels down, walk it back. Roll yourself up. Ooh, little active recovery. Elbows into ribs. Lift your elbows. Squeeze in. So we're back to a variation of our robot arms. Think about opening the scapula. Think about dropping the shoulders down your back. Good. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Head and neck long. Belly in. We're going to move into a little standing arm work. So a lot of times you think you can't get arm work with just using the resistance created in your own body. You think you need big heavy weights. You don't have to go to the gym. You can do nice work to sculpt and tone your arms right at home. Lift your arms up, elbows in line with shoulders. We're gonna work biceps. Curl in and resist out. Curl in and resist out. Think about working in that slime that they have in the Star Wars movie. Think about working through that. Thick, thick slime. Channel your inner Han Solo. Use your strength here. Resist in, resist out. You can see my biceps working. Even though I'm only using the resistance I'm creating in my mind, I'm still getting a lot of work. I can feel this. Four more. And three. Two. Here's your last one. Tricep work. Bring your knees into a little bend. I'll turn to the side so you can see. Inhale, and as you exhale, press your arms back. Bend elbows in. Press your arms back. Bend elbows in. Each time you press back, you feel the toning in the tricep, the back of the arm. Head and neck nice and long. Soft knees. Good. Press and bend. Once again, that mind-body connection, thinking about that resistance, resisting in, resisting out, resisting in, resisting out, pressing back, long fingertips, good. Head and neck long, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, working those triceps, building the strength of your arms. Good, you're here for three and two, one, good. Shake it out a little bit with the arms. We're gonna move into a carousel horse. So your right foot, or left foot will stay forward. Right foot's gonna step back. Stack your knee in the front, right over the front ankle. Back knee will drop directly down to the floor. Square off your hips. We go down an inch, up, down, up. Straight down and up, good. Back knee to the floor. Front knee straight up and down. Tailbone slightly tucked, belly drawing in, down and up, down and up. 
So my favorite Star Wars characters were always the Ewoks. I always thought they were so cute. They reminded me of my little hamsters as a kid. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Star Wars character was. Or if you like Star Trek, let me know that too. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Keep working with control. Keep that belly in connected to your core. Drop that back knee and lift. Drop and lift. Good job. You're almost there. Use the force. I know we're getting shaky. You've got four more. Three, two, and one. Good. Stand up and switch legs. Bring your left foot back. Right foot stays directly over your ankle. And here we go. Back knee down and up. Down and up. Keep the tailbone in. Keep head and neck long. Belly in. Straight down. Straight up. Straight down, straight up. So if you're just trying these workouts for the first time, make your range of motion small. Just go down an inch and up an inch. If you want more, you'll make this workout a little bit deeper. Or you'll make this work a little deeper by dropping that back knee all the way towards the floor. Just keep your front knee over your ankle for support. Be gentle on your body. We only have four more. You're doing great. And three, two, and one. Good, step on up. Take an inhale to reach up and back. Exhale, big forward fold. Hands to the floor, walk your feet back, find your plank position. Now plank can be done with your knees down. Plank can be done on your elbows and forearms or on your fists, you choose. I'm gonna stay on my palms and from here, we're gonna lift the right leg up to hover. Flex your foot. Take it up and tap, up and tap. So in plank, we want even weight on your palms or forearms, belly button in and up and head and neck long, reaching away from your leg. Reach your back heel out. Just four more. Three, two, and one, good, drop your knees down, press back, take a little stretch, breathe, and then shift yourself forward once again, keep your palms flat, walk your feet back, find plank, head and neck long, belly in and up, tailbone down, left leg lifts, keep it up and lift it, flex your foot, take it down to tap, and lift, tap, and lift. Feel that strength through your core, Feel the strength through your body. Press and lengthen the leg out. Good job, guys. Stay with it. Just four more. Three, two, and one. Good. Bring your knees down. Press yourself back. Hips on heels and breathe. Big breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, melting your spine. And then roll yourself up to an all fours position. Head and neck long. Hands right under shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. Right knee lifts out to the side. Squeeze in. Lift to the side. Squeeze in. So we're working your hips, working your bottom, really lubricating that joint as you lift out to the side and squeeze in. So again, that idea of resistance, creating this natural resistance here to resist out and in working through that slime or mud. Good, working on shaping and toning your glutes, toning your thighs, getting that nice lifted bottom. Yeah, good, stay with it. Four more, three, two, and one. Good, bring your right knee down, press back, hips on heels, little stretch, circle your wrist, and then roll yourself up for your second side. Square your chest, press down into your palms. Left knee lifts out, squeeze in. Out and squeeze. Good job guys, stay with it. Resist out, resist in. Think about like a magnet as it draws your leg in, really resist that pull of a magnet. I used to like playing with magnets as a kid and trying to keep them apart by turning the uh, 
magnet site away from each other. So think about that idea here, that force between your legs resisting out and in. You're in control. You've got this. Use your force to take on these little glute lifts. Squeeze out and in. Last four and three, two, one. Good. Bring the knee down. Press back. Hips on heels. Relax your back. Good. And then roll up. We're going to keep working the booty, but flip over onto your back. Bring your knees in alignment with your hips. Roll yourself down towards the floor. Draw your heels in towards your bottom and bring your palms down to the mat. Energize through your feet. Inhale, lift hips up and down, up and down. So we're working the strength of your hamstrings here, the back of your legs. We're working on lifting your seat, hips straight up and down, hips straight up and down. Take a peek at your hips and see that they're level. See that your legs are pressing evenly into the floor. You have a nice line from hip bone to knee to ankle. Press your palms down at your side, active triceps, Active squeezes, support through the shoulders as you lower and lift, lower and lift. I love this workout because this helps me lift my seat. A lot of my clients ask me, how do I get a lifted rounded bottom? This is one of my favorite exercises for it. It's so easy, you can do it anywhere. All you need is a little place on the floor and you can work into your little booty bridge lifts down and up, down, and up. Let's take four more. Three, two, and here's your last one. Good, hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little bit side to side. Good, and then begin rocking up and down. You'll rock all the way up to seated. Good, take a comfortable cross-legged position. Sit up tall, take your right palm down to the floor. Lift left arm up and over, big side bend stretch. And come through the center, other side. So just like we began, we're gonna finish with a little side stretch. Good, bring your legs straight forward, flex your toes. Lift your arms up and back and take a forward fold. Melt your spine as you drop your nose down towards your knees. Soften your knees as much as you need to to get a stretch for your back body. And then uh, slide your hands back as you roll up. Shake out the legs. Good. And then come back to all fours position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips for cat-cow stretches. Inhale to lift head and tailbone. Exhale to round your spine. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. One more here. Fill your lungs. Squeeze out the air. And then bring your head and neck in alignment with spine. Flip your toes. Lift your hips. Drop the heels towards the floor. Gently shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Walk your feet out, shifting weight right and left, pressing the opposite heel down towards the floor, keeping hips high, keeping even weight in your hands. And then begin to walk your feet forward towards your hands. Softly bend your knees, tuck your tail, roll yourself up to stand. Thank you guys, you did great. Please favorite this workout so you can come back and try it again. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. And to learn more about me, visit Pilates Body ATX at Tumblr.com. Be sure to check out the other dance total body workout videos in this series. And may the force be with you.